hey loves welcome to my youtube channel my name is cynthia and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to get a flawless youpad wig ready in less than 15 minutes guys and what's better you don't even need to know how to use a needle and thread so i'm going to jump straight into this tutorial for this i'm just going to be needing my bundles my hot glue gun needle and thread chalk and dome cap guys i've already braided out my hair in the braid pattern i need it to be in like i just showed you guys so first thing I'm going to do is to prep my wig cap. I'm just going to put it on my head, move it back um, way behind my leave out and then sew down the excess lack. This is very this is very important like cap customization is key if you're going to be making a wig for yourself or for anybody. Well, since I'm making this wig for myself, I can just get away with doing this freehand customization by putting it on my head and sewing it directly on my on my head because that's an accurate means to get my skull however if I'm making it for someone else I'm going to have to measure so there's no hard and fast rule to doing this just put it on your head tuck back the slack so and be careful guys because you don't want to sew your hair with the wig cap um, especially if you're home alone you have to have someone to cut it out for you so yeah just be careful about that next thing I'm going to do is to draw my leave out uh, you can do a 2x4 or a 2x6 depending on how deep you want your part but I did the freehand sketch so once I'm done with that I'll be transferring my already prepped wig cap to a mannequin head just to finesse my stitch next thing I'm going to be doing will be to outline where I'm going to uh, stick or glue my tracks to so usually I do uh, one inch apart but for this tutorial I'm just going to be doing half an inch apart just because I promised you guys a needle and thread free tutorial for those of us that can sew and I can't be I wouldn't be doubling my weft if I double my weft I will be doing one inch or two finger weft apart but I am just going to be gluing the tracks uh, individually as they come i am not doubling my web so i will just be gluing it one single track at a time So once I'm done outlining and finessing, the next thing I do is just to uh, glue each track onto the outlined area. Like I always say in my previous uh, wig making tutorial, it's really important that you outline uh, your wig cap before you start any project because that's like a roadmap and a guide which will help you out in the wig making process so yeah i'm just going to be speeding up the process it's nothing serious just basic use a hot glue gun you can get this from the dollarama or any uh, craft store just use the hot glue gun trace out the uh, glue wax on the line you've made and then simply stick each weft at a time on the track it's so basic and easy everyone can get this done like um, you don't have to be a pro or at a pro level to get this done and this um, hairstyle is super effective uh, cost effective and affordable you don't have to buy um, human hair you can just get any $15 hair from the beauty supply store uh, and, and on a wig for yourself and then you also don't have to spend a lot on closures and frontal more so i think you have to uh, attain a certain level of expertise to get the whole closure and frontal like um, lay them and get them looking like your natural hairline or like it's growing out of your scalp so yeah um i've observed that the leave out game is coming right back in trend like nothing beats your hairline guys I mean they do call the closures and the frontals a protective style but sometimes they actually do ruin our edges especially if you have to you know glue them on and if you don't know how to uh, 
get your wig laid it's it's it, it can it can be a hassle so like the youth part wig is a stress-free wig that any woman can have in her uh, wig collection and you know any day you don't have to, you don't want to stress about laying your frontal and getting your edges done like this this is just it for you but the only thing is that um if you're going to be using this hair texture that i used you probably either have to have um, a relaxed hair or maybe uh, consider straightening out your hair but if you're natural like that's not a problem the hair industry has become it's really a versatile one there's something for every woman if you're natural i think there's a uh, different hairs that cater to different hair textures so yeah you can still leave out your kinky natural hair out just uh, buy a kinky um extension and get your u part free guys so if you're new to my channel guys welcome i'm really glad to have you here thanks for stopping by in this channel we do a lot of beauty diy for the woman that's on a budget and doesn't want to spend a lot of money in the beauty studio like um i just show you how i've uh, been able to hack a few things to get them done myself beauty wise and if you're a returning subscriber wow thank you so much for checking back on me i'm really grateful that you tuned in to watch me again today so i hope you do learn something from watching this tutorial please if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider clicking the subscribe button um in my last wig making video i got a lot of views i do get a lot of views but not a lot of subscribers so guys if you're among the few people that watch my content and you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for guys like uh please do do me a favor and subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to your girl okay and while we are at it please click the notification icon just close to the subscribe button so that you get notified anytime i upload a content so yeah guys i'm done clipping i'm done gluing the bundles to the wig cap uh the focus of this uh, tutorial is not styling i just sped up the process of me styling the wig do let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a styling tutorial and i will be more than happy to create that video for you guys so yeah i'm done with the process of styling my hair all i'm just going to do is to install just a quick tidbit i just used the tresemme heat protecting spray and then i used the um spray hold i think it's from tresemme too yeah so i always tell you guys to protect your uh, mannequin head anytime you make a wig but i wish i would take my own advice guys you saw me struggling to pull the hair out of my mannequin the glue seeped right through the dome cap because it's mesh and it seeped on my dome cap so yeah note to self if you do have a wig comb now will be the time to attach it to your wig cap because i would usually attach maybe two wig clips to either side and then one in the uh, dpu area or you can also use like uh, the clip in extension the snap clips for extensions too whatever you have but i on the other hand will be sewing this directly to my hair just because i will be uh, traveling for a week and i don't want to go through the hassle of you know putting a wig on every day and taking it out and then also um sleeping with the wig uh, with the wig combs on my hair that could be a bit of a discomfort so that's the beauty of the u part wig is that you get the best of both worlds guys if you don't want to use the clips you can sew it right onto your um scalp so you know have the illusion of a sewn in extension and i think you can even go skydiving with this one and it wouldn't come off your head so yeah i'm done with i know i did promise you guys a needle and thread and a needle and thread oh God, i can't talk today i know i did promise you guys a needle and thread free tutorial but this is like um another alternative if you like i said if you want it to last longer you can tot i can totally be done with this tutorial here all i had to do was just maybe glue the clips on too or sew it on but like i said i just wanted um, to get a longer wear out of it so yeah i'm done and all that is left for me to do is just style and blend my um natural hair 
to the texture of the wig and for that I'll be I'll just be using a flattener spray some heat protecting spray on your hair first to protect the hair and then flatten it with um, whatever flat iron you have I totally don't know the name of this hot iron I'm using at the moment but I've gotten quite a use from it like I think it's two years or three years old now and it hasn't given me issues since then so yeah so what I'll just do I now is to you know unclip my hair and with that i think i'm done with the uh, tutorial the rest of the video will just be me styling and doing a bit of an outro i totally lost the clip for the outro that i filmed for this tutorial you know when i got where i got glammed up and ready but see yeah, i just said um, i'll upload the video however it is um, the most important thing is that i got the tutorial in and it was clear so guys if you've watched me to this extent thank you so much for being here till now if you've learned some i hope i've been able to um teach you something today and if you've learned something from this tutorial consider watching my other videos on um wig making i would be leaving either of them on the top right or top left corner and like i said guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do me a favor and click the subscribe button it would mean a lot to me um it would actually encourage me to do more and if you have any comments i'd like to hear them in the comment section if there's something you would do differently just let me know and if you've regretted this video uh, this um, video or if it has helped you in any way I would also like to see the picture you can tag me anywhere on any of my social media handles um, at Cynthia Mbo on Instagram and I have a business page too luxury hair by Cynthia so um, let's connect on other social media handles guys and until I come your way again um, stay fab and stay blessed I love you so much bye